Okay. Okay. Uh, well, obviously, it's my time. Uh, thank you for staying that late. Uh, thank me for staying awake that late. I'm trying really hard. Uh, a smokers board of resources for game-based learning. So um, I'm coming from Austria, from Graz. Uh, shortly, if you want to learn more, just Google me. I come first up also on the Google list. Uh, I'm not trying to sell you a project. I sold this very successfully actually to European Commission. Uh, I'm actually trying to tell you what we are doing because I believe it's uh, useful for uh, teachers, for educators, for industry, for all the stakeholders who we are in this teaching learning dialogue, I would say. It's very often it's monologue. When I start with my classes, it's monologue, but I'm trying uh, to turn it through the semester into a dialogue. That's actually my um, starting slide for the semester. Uh, I thought actually sex sales, game sale, uh, they actually sell. That's why I also invented or developed the role play uh, that we are doing throughout the semester to motivate the students for learning. So if we want to learn more about how we are doing this role play for the students throughout the semester, or how you perhaps want to create a role play for your own environment, there are also resources on the smoggers board that I'll talk shortly about. Uh, the other thing, uh, the question today was uh, posed by colleagues, why I'm doing this? Well, I believe that they, the games can motivate students, that they actually can contribute to better teaching and learning experience, to create a win-win situation. So teaching, for me, is also more interesting. But on the other hand, uh, if you see the slides, also European Parliament started to believe this. Uh, they said despite all the violence and uh, dispute on one hand around the games, on the other hand, games do have potential for learning and they also uh, appeal to people, to designers, to developers and to teachers, let's try and explore these potentials. Uh, we also had a good opportunity to invest some time uh, into research uh, commissioned from, uh, by ISFE uh, did the report uh, for games in schools, and we actually uh, found out that a lot of teachers would like to use games, would like to innovate in their classrooms. However, they do not really know how to do it, nor do they have resources uh, to experiment. So there is also showing a need that we have to provide the resources to the educators or actually to all potential stake stakeholders in forms of uh, examples of reviews, of support, uh, of guidelines, and so on and so on. Uh, here are two URLs. Uh, the first one is from the Engage Learning and the second one is from Imagine Games. Why I'm bringing those uh, two projects up, two URLs up, is apart on one hand, yes, I'm involved in both, but on the other hand, they're actually supporting people on different levels, the same people who want actually to integrate the games into the environments. Engaged learning is supporting practitioners, it's a bottom-up approach, and Imagine Games is actually working for you over the policy makers. That means that perhaps and hopefully soon you and we all will have enough resources in terms also of time to experiment, to integrate the games and to innovate in our classrooms. So what is Engage is actually a resource portal for you. The first page, uh, I don't think how much, uh, I don't know how much you can see from the slides. I don't think a lot, but at least you'll see they are color coded. The yellows are for teachers. The red area is for students. Uh, there is the blue area for industry and the green area for community. And I'll sh shortly present all of these areas and you can then decide if this is something interesting for you or not. Uh, we are six project partners, as in usually in EC projects, which also means we can work on 
national level as well as on the EC level. The major resource interesting for teachers uh, is actually a catalog of game reviews. Those games are not reviewed by professional reviewers, but by educators. That means in these games reviews, you also get information how people think that could be applied for classes, uh, how if you are a non-gamer, how long a learning curve is, what could you use, you get also a lot of screenshots and ideas. Uh, you can of, of course search the catalog by different uh, categories of either game genres or uh, subject topics that you teach or actually also the age groups. Uh, for instance, you get a teaser if a game would be interesting for you, you can of course download the entire review as a PDF format. That's available for you for no cost for everyone. It's also a possibility that you uh, leave a reply or actually also upload your own ideas to that game or your own reviews if you are interested. Uh, there are also some toolboxes for uh, novices uh, in forms of dialogue to come you through the different um, contents, how to uptake game-based learning, what to consider, uh, perhaps uh, class size, technology, and so on, that usually perhaps you wouldn't even think about. And why is this now totally black? Okay. Obviously, I have a magic touch as well. Anyway, I will not bother to interact with the slides that should be here but are not appearing. There are also other things in the red area. For instance, uh, uh, the area for students, we are offering summer school when we are trying to put young designers, game designers, and in combination with curricular contents, uh, similar that we heard before, we are actually trying to foster dialogue with industry that we have people, excuse me? No, it doesn't really matter for this couple of minutes, but thank you. We are also running for uh, young designers, Golden Pineapple Awards, we are opening them. Uh, international, we had them now successfully for four years in Austria we try to motivate and stimulate their creativity to produce uh, good educational game, game concepts. Uh, there are also uh, other community areas where you can get involved into providing and sharing your experience with other educators because the entire uh, web portal is based on 2.0 technology. So you can either leave comments, you can upload your things, you can also contribute and participate uh, in the forums. And last but not least, we also have uh, support of industry, of game industry. There are displayed logos, you can have a look at them. And we are very grateful to all of them that they support our ideas, our cause, and hopefully also uh, we will try and manage to create young students that believe that educational games and recreational games can actually work together and we can learn and have fun. Thank you.